in this Xcode review, I'm going to walk you through the software and I'll show you everything you need to know. So what is Xcode? Xcode is actually a comprehensive automation and analysis for your Facebook and Instagram ads campaign. So what it can actually do, it's they can actually boost your revenue for Facebook ads with automation 24-7 monitoring and adjust campaign behavior based on customized condition. So without wasting much time, let me jump into the screen of Scoop to show you, all right? So what you actually see right now is actually the best, the main dashboard of Scoop. okay? So it looks a bit complicated, okay? Because it provides a lot of details. So let me just walk you through right now, okay? So the main dashboard, you can actually first, you actually do you can actually add in your ads account okay by adding your ads account it's very easy come here under your name ads account and you can actually add another profile okay so you can actually add another uh, ads account okay so after you add your account then you can actually go to your dashboard so they'll show you everything okay so under your ads account i have one ads account here and the number of page okay so you can actually see on the uh, dashboard you can actually see the impression result click all or click through rate all okay you can actually sh uh, change the display which you want based on your requirement there's actually tons of it under result reach impression cpa spend quality ranking cpm frequency cpa all there's tons of tons of tons of it okay so i will definitely will not go through everything okay so go ahead and then do a change based on your requirement okay that's actually tons of it look okay so you can actually change all this everything here okay so on the right you can actually see the click all link click view content add to cart and purchase so so all these things was also able to edit you can actually edit everything here okay so as you the same from the the, the previous one you can actually edit everything here okay you can actually unselect or select Okay, it depends on your requirement for your ads account. Okay, so moving downwards, you can actually see the campaign. You can actually see, you can actually see what type of ads campaign, what ad sets campaign, or what ads campaign. Or you can actually show only running campaign, or you can actually show all. Okay, so under this, you can actually see the impression, the number of clicks, the reach, CPM, spend, ROAS, RAS revenue impress or click through rate okay so you can actually see the demographic okay so the top placement and top region okay so it's a very detailed dashboard which you actually which it's actually in already very sufficient okay so you can actually create a new campaign okay by clicking here new campaign you can actually choose what type of you can actually choose what kind of campaign you want to do conversion traffic post engagement video view Lead generation or pitch line. Example, if you want to use under traffic, so you can actually first your ads account, your campaign name, and destination. Okay, and then your optimization goal. Okay, you want to have more link clicks, landing page view, impression, or daily unique reach. Okay, so you can actually campaign budget optimization. You can actually toggle it off or on. Okay, you actually set your budget what time budget under daily or lifetime budget okay so you can actually say schedule it continuously or you have actually a date range so and your start date and your date and your end date all this we will be able to edit okay so you're actually your bidding under under lowest cost bid cap or post cap okay so you can actually show see more advice option building event impression or link click so you can actually uh, do all this uh, accelerate delivery so you can actually touch on the hoover on the eye you can actually see what is it all about okay you can actually hoover over all, everything okay and then your asset naming ads naming or your tracking url okay so once all these things is done you can proceed to press next or you can actually publish it okay so this is actually how you set a campaign okay so after I show you how to use campaign, you can actually set your audience first, all right? So for audience, you can actually create a new audience, okay? So you can actually see the 
estimated audience size as per now live in USA. So you can actually set your location USA or France. Okay, you can just set. Okay, depends on your target audience. Okay, so if let's say you use France, you can actually see the number of estimated audience size actually increase. All right. Okay, so you can show it exclude different country. Okay, maybe let's like, maybe Singapore. Um, the country I'm staying in in Singapore, you can actually exclude it as well. Okay, so you can actually see the estimated audience size actually change as well. All right, so you the language. Okay, you also can do the language English. Okay, Spanish. Okay, you can actually. The language you also can, can include. Okay, let us just choose English. So the audience size changes as well. Okay, so on age range, you can actually do an age range from 18 to 65. So from uh, everything you can do location, okay, language, or you can actually do A B testing. Okay, for age range, you can actually do A B testing in two range. Maybe one of them is 38, or one is 42 to maybe 50. So you can actually have two range. Okay, so the language you also can do A-B testing as well, okay? So you can actually do add another language, maybe another language for maybe Danish, just an example, right? Okay, so you can actually have the genre, male, female, or uh, your detailing target, okay? If you, let's say you don't know what's detailing target, hover over the eye, you can actually see all the information here, all right? So you can actually search as well, okay? So you can actually see maybe... Uh, targeting under in college in grad school uh, professional degree some college okay you can actually under category okay they are interest business banking entertainment sports so actually it's very customized itself all right so your placement you can actually automatic placement or manual placement so you can actually do all your device or desktop or mobile you can actually place placement of, for facebook under FB News, okay, for everything. In any case, or Instagram. In any case, if you don't want your ads to be displayed in the reels, just uncheck it, okay. So you can actually see the estimated size is always changing on depends on whichever auction you actually choose. All right. So for advanced auction, you can actually see under mobile, under iOS or Android, or only when connected to Wi-Fi. Everything you can actually uncheck and check okay so it really depends on your criteria for this ads itself all right so you can also you can also add text into it as well okay so you can achieve add text to find your audience easier all right so all this actually you can actually have your new audience okay so once you have your audience you are actually happy with the, the audience you can actually save it all right so right now you actually have your new audience you can actually view or edit it all right so for moving on to the ads assets, okay, you can actually do a ads asset, okay, create a new ads asset here or here, okay. Let's click into it, okay. So you can actually create a new ads asset for your your uh, Facebook page or your Instagram, okay. So the ads type you can actually either link ads, photo ads, video, carousel, lead ads, okay. So let me for this demo, let's try photo. You actually add your photo here. Or you choose all from choose from your Google Drive. Okay, okay. Add a photo, just a random one. Okay, so this is actually a random picture, so you can actually see how this it looks like. And you can actually add your ad text. Okay, you can actually call to action, or you can actually add variant also. Okay, tell me more about your ads. And you actually have a uh, this uh, call to action, no button, get code, learn more, send message, or shop now. Okay, you can actually get code, or you can actually no button or learn more. Okay, so after that, you can actually add your URL. Okay, you can add your URL and your text as well. Okay, so once you're happy with it, you can actually just save it. Okay, or we do not have a URL right now. Once you're done, you actually save it. So under automation, okay, so I can actually show you some automation. 
some of the automation rules. It's very interesting rules, which actually I think at Scoop have, which you can actually bring it very unique, all right? So you can actually add your own new rules from scratch or uh, active late conversion, pause list performance, pause not converting, pause when ROAS negative, scale net, uh, aggressive but safe, best, you can scale best performance or scale profitable. In any case of any of your ads is actually not performing, you can actually, or not converting, you can actually use these new rules, okay? You can actually set the rules at your own. You can actually uh, select the items, okay? Select any of the campaign, okay? And then you can actually do a task on that under campaign, assets, or ads. Then you can actually do an action. Either you pause it, start, delete, duplicate, or add to name. And you can actually add more actions as well, okay? So some condition as well, okay? You can actually add some condition the impression span okay there's actually tons of it which you can actually choose on the last three days today or last 30 days okay less than is not is bigger than 0.5 okay okay or you can add and another one okay in any case if you want to remove click into here okay so you can actually add more tasks here and you usually schedule you can actually check the rules for every 12 hours or every 15 minutes or you can actually customize it at your end Okay, actually add your time zone, okay, and different time zone. So all this will be shown. If you don't want it, you just hover over it, okay. So once you actually do all your automation, then you can actually save it, okay. So basically, this is actually at school, okay. It will actually help you to boost your uh, Facebook or Instagram revenue using at school, okay. So at school is actually an alternative for uh, review bot. Okay, so review board, the pricing of review board is actually a monthly price. Okay, so but right now, okay, the, you, this is actually an Sumo product. So Sumo product is actually a one-time fee of 79, which actually will not incur higher charges for you since it's not actually a, a monthly fee. It's actually a lifetime deal of $79. For the first year, it's actually $79, which you actually have 15,000 monthly ad spend limits. And if let's say you have a higher monthly spend limit, you can actually upgrade to second tier. 139 or third tier okay so they actually come in three tier all right so if you want to try s scope and you want to do a purchase and you have a limit of 15,000 go and do a purchase of this is 79 dollars at a one time fee remember it's not a monthly fee okay so i will leave a link below in the description box go ahead and use my link and do a purchase it will not increase the price for the 79 dollars at all okay it will i will just have got a small commission just to support this brand new channel itself okay thank you very much if you let's say use my link to do a purchase in advance and if you like to see more such more review software go ahead and use uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and in case if you have any questions feel free to comment down in the uh, comment box below okay so i actually hope you actually uh, understand better on how to use as cook to actually drive sales to your facebook or your Instagram ads account. Okay, so to the next video, I will see you guys. Have a good day. Stay safe.